Andrew, how's uh, Peter Wright pulled up out of uh, Saturday's game? Oh, look, Wrighty obviously pulled up a little bit sore, um, but we've had him looked at, and yeah, he's good to go. Very confident you'll play? Yeah, confident you'll play. Um, spoken to the medical staff uh, about it, um, did a recovery Sunday, we had him assessed, and yeah, good to go. Your form over, over finals has been exemplary, obviously, that the qualifying final win was uh, sort of top of that list. Do you expect to enter this weekend as favourites? Uh, Oh, look, uh, you probably saw the second game on the weekend when Oakley took care of Sandringham fairly well. I would say we go in probably 50-50, in all honesty. And I mean, with Mick sitting beside me, I'm more than happy to say that we have the ultimate respect for Oakley. Um, they've been on top all year. We've been chasing them all year. Um, our finals form's been relatively good, as has theirs. So I would say genuinely a, a 50-50 ball game. Is that how you'd see it? Yeah, yeah, I think both teams match up really well. And uh, no, I'd agree. I think it's a great contest. And two of the best teams from the season now get to play it off in the, uh, yep. in the last game of the year. So looking forward to it. Darcy, you're probably sick of talking about it, but how many people have uh, asked about that mark over the past couple of days? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Um, you know, a few of the boys uh, gave me a bit of stick about it. Apparently, I don't have Twitter, but apparently it did the rounds the other night. But, um, yeah, no, it was just lucky enough to get a good ride and held on to it. And we won the game by 72 points. So it was a good day. What do you expect the intensity to be like this week compared to the under-18 championships? Um, oh, look, I think every year the grand final is always probably a game that's going to be looked at a lot and it's the whole final series is probably matched to the national carnival because the intensity rises from what it's like during season. So um, I have very high expectations this weekend and I have no doubt it will be nothing short of what the SA Victoria game was like the last game. So it should be good. You found that as well, Darcy, in terms of the, the intensity sort of picking up during um, the finals? Yeah, I think, I think for sure. And, you know, the, the first quarter of our um, qualifying final against the Falcons will show that it pretty much got played between the arcs in a continuous circle for about 20 minutes non-stop. And, um, and yeah, we all felt the pinch, pinch of that game. So, um, yeah, in terms of comparing it to nationals, you know, um, yeah, I guess, I guess it's similar, but I think... Um, the comparison between regular season and finals um, is definitely a pretty stark one, and you know we just like all teams do. We love the opportunity to come up, come up against the best, um, not only the best talent, but you know the best football organisations in the TAC Cup. So um, I'm sure, this week will be no different, and you know it's, it's mouth watering really to get the chance to have a go at the call to cannons. Uh, question for Michael and Andrew: What did you learn from uh, the game you played during the home and away season about each other? Yeah, I know it was that middle of the year period where our, our side sort of looks a lot different than it does now. Um, we probably, I think the margin was 38 points in the end, um, but yeah, Calder just, just got a hold of us uh, at certain stages in the game and, and did enough to win, but I think you sort of you can't go into that too much because there's, you know, I think Calder probably had four, five, six players out, maybe even more. Um, yeah, two different sides now, so... I guess we have to do our homework a bit more because we haven't had the chance to play um, our two full-strength teams. But, um, no, I think it's a yeah, fantastic contest and, and looking forward to it. Yeah, much the same. Um, as I said, Oakley were missing probably the same number we were. Both sides were well represented at Metro. Um, so it doesn't really count for that much, to be honest. So, yeah, we'll do our homework and I'm sure Mick will be doing his homework and we'll see what show we can put on on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Zach Wynum was mm -hmm. very good as well. You must be really pleased with the way that, that those two have stepped up to the intensity of finals footy and, and the other bottom majors that you've got as well. Yeah, absolutely. They've responded to the challenge. Um, I mean, our 18-year-olds are obviously setting a standard that the 17-year-olds are, are chasing and they've both had big impacts on the, the last two games. Um, moved Nick back inside. We had him out on the wing. Um, moved him back inside literally to show his versatility. And as you said, he responded with the most possessions on the ground and reasonably high efficiency too. So it's not like he wastes a lot either. So from a player's perspective, um, you must be looking forward to the chance to possibly do something special on the big stage. I know like in the past some, some players have really made a name for themselves on grand final day. Are there a few boys in your team looking to do something similar? Um, yeah, definitely. I think the grand final especially 
it's um, almost like you can get yourself drafted in the, in the one game, a lot of people say. So, um, look, it's I personally don't expect too much of myself, but to do my role in the team and, you know, sort of do what I've done all year. But I'm sure there's going to be someone who pops their head up and maybe kicks a bag or um, gets like 40 possessions and kicks four goals. But sometimes that only comes around every once in a couple of years. So who knows? It could be... Um, it could be one of our bottom edges, I reckon, that probably ends up standing up for us. But um, just hopefully we get the win. It's probably more about winning the premiership than individual acts. So. Michael, you were extremely convincing on the weekend. Is there any scope for, for possible changes this weekend? Any guys putting their, putting their name up? Um, oh, look, Dan Houston, one of our bottom ages, that's had a really good year. He, he missed last week, just um, had a, a small injury or fracture into his, his finger. Um, but he trained really well last week and was probably unlucky to miss out. But he's probably one that would be really keen to get back in. Uh, Alfie Oppi um, has played, I think, nearly all the games this year and, and he's unlucky to miss out last week. Um, we've got um, Cunningham and, and Paddy Phillips that are two bottom ages that, that have been trying to bust through out of the emergency ranks and, and into the side. So, yeah, we're pretty lucky with our list management. There's only probably four to five guys that, that aren't available out of a, a group of 66 that have played for us all year. So. Um, it'll be tough again at selection, but, but coming off that win, we, yeah, we won't be making too many changes, I wouldn't have thought. And Andrew, I know you're in a similar position where you've got Ben Allen pushing for selection and yep. uh, a few other guys on, on the fringe as well that will obviously be very keen to play. Yep. Um, much the same again as Mick. We're lucky enough to have four or five that have kept our squad exceptionally honest. I mean, Bruno Laguda, Tanner Nielsen, Aaron Christensen, all keeping uh, people very honest and working the guys that are in the squad very hard. As you said, Ben Allen, um, you know, a Metro rep, um, we were worried about how much load we got into him over the last couple of weeks, but now strength and conditioning have managed to get some more into him, and he will certainly come un under consideration for this week, yeah. Can I just ask you two purely on a local perspective? Last yeah. night, Mitch Conn won the uh, Rookie of the Year up in Ballarat. Yep. I mean, must have been thrilled to hear that news. Absolutely. I mean, look, Mitch is a bottom major. He's had a great year. Um, was selected in the Ballarat senior rep side. Um, and, you know, has moved from back pocket up onto a wing for us and still finding the football. Um, just got to convince him to kick it a bit more rather than use his hands so much. But, yeah, apart from that, he's had a really, really good year. Uh, so if you had a, a preference which end of the ground that you'd uh, prefer to be playing in the future? Um, no preference at this stage, mate. Um, still acknowledging that I'm, you know, learning both ends. Um, every week I'm learning um, new things and... Um, I generally say that 15 minutes into a game I'll have a preference and I'll, I can get a feel for the way the game's being played and you know where I think I'll, my, my role is best, um, best placed for the team. But um, yeah, absolutely no preference, mate. Just like playing against good players and competing hard. One for the coaches, the, the two, Ruff and Kovacevic and Pitney, um, both running into great form coming into the grand final. Yeah, look, I think we match up really well mm. across the ground, and that's probably one that that's, uh, that we're looking forward forward to. And, and knowing uh, knowing Pitts, he, he certainly loves a challenge, so he, you know that's one he's probably been looking forward to for a little while. And he's now got himself in a really good form, and um, to be able to ruck against the best, um, that's that's all we ask for for our players, and get that opportunity. Mm. And again, Cov is very, very similar. He's looking forward to the challenge. Um, you know, has great respect, obviously, uh, from the point of view that they were both in Metro consideration and probably one replaced the other in Metro. So yeah, both very much looking forward to the challenge, I'm sure. And a lot of your bot uh, bottom age players last year that have stepped up to be sort of your 18 year olds this year, like sort of uh, experienced the pain of going through a preliminary final loss last year. How much better off do you think that experience left them? Um, look, it left them a little bit hungry, um, no doubt about it. Uh, our bottom ages last year certainly uh, accepted a lot of responsibility for leaving the top ages one short, in their own words. Um, but in terms of whether it's motivation, et cetera, et cetera, for the weekend, no, look, it's just going to be a great game of football. Um, I believe, you know, two of the better sides in the TAC get the opportunity to showcase developmental football again.